okay. So we are actually squeezing in. <laughs> this is heavenly. We are surrounded by uh, Sarawak's uh, unique uh, fruits. Right? I know, and, and to some of you, when you look at this, you'll say, eh, hey, that looks like a rambutan, but it's not, yeah. you know? Uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know whether it is triggering my sinus or it's making it better. So. <laughs> making it better, like, uh, think about it positively. Okay. No, I mean, the fact that I can actually smell That the makes fruit. it better. That makes it better because it's improving my sense of smell. Well, I, I can yeah. identify one out of the lot here, which is the tarap, but I'm not too sure what the others are. I can see the durian. Like a... The way looks really weird for a durian. I mean, yeah. something different from uh, the one that we see in the normal peninsula. The huge, peninsula. big stuff that we see. Yeah. So let's welcome our guest into the studios to find out more about Sarawak's unique fruit. Uh, uh, Dr. We've got, Lawrence of course, John, mm -hmm. with a very nice Sarawak uh, tribal vest there. Yes. <laughs> you look like a, you. like a head of the tribe. <laughs> you just need the headgear and you're done for it. <laughs> and of course, uh, family face, uh, Augustus Sappen. Hi. Good morning, gentlemen, and Happy New morning. Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Right. Happy New Year. So, we are surrounded by these really exotic Sarawak fruits. Maybe you can, you know, introduce, do, introduce each one of them. Um, in, you know, with the name and also the, the origin. Yeah, and, and, you know, how different can it be? Yeah, go ahead, Doctor. Okay, all yours. Uh, very good morning and Happy New Year to all Malaysians. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, first of all, uh, many Malaysians, especially uh, West Malaysians, they go to uh, Sarawak. Mm. They, they admire the beauty of the culture, traditional yeah. performance and all that. One thing they overlook is the fruits. Uh, Sarawak has a huge uh, number of traditional foods, uh, fruits, uh, and you can't find these fruits in the hypermarkets. Mm. You can only find it in the Pasatamu, the local oh, name, right. where the kampung folks come out and sell the local fruits. Why is that? Yeah. Why uh, is it that it's not even accessible or even easy to find in, um, in hypermarkets? In, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons because of the smell. Okay, uh, <laughs> maybe yes. I have my kids, but very smell. strong smell. We love the smell, you have no idea I don't know how if, strong it is. I don't know whether if it's a specific fruit or because it's a combination of the fruit. It's like, it smells like a combination. Yeah, so it's, I think the combination is, brings out a really nice... Aroma. Yeah. Uh, take us through the fruits. I mean, yeah. we're very curious to find out. With, let's start with the one that Zamil said that looks like a durian. Durian, but um, with different color, different yeah. Thorns or something, yeah. It, 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 like you said just now, it looks like a, a rambutan, right? Yeah. It's a huge <laughs> rambutan. <laughs> it's like a delicious rambutan. Yeah, with huge nuts. Mm. But this is uh, wild durians we found uh, we find in Sarawak. There I see. are about 20 species of wild durians. Wow. And you find that uh, 12 of them is available in Borneo. Actually, all these fruits are available in Sabah, Sarawak, and yeah. Kalimantan and Brunei. So um, this is wild durians, and there are about um, five that you commonly see. You even have a red uh, flesh durian. Okay. Okay, and that red is flesh yeah, durians. red flesh durian. Okay. And they're, they're very I, in I size. Give the camera. Yep, camera yeah. can zoom in on yep. the red flesh there. No, and that's not red. Uh, this is orange flesh, but okay. uh, we, we we couldn't find the red flesh oh, durian. Okay. But it's Sorry, it's really red. Is, red is there any difference uh, in terms of the uh, taste? The taste is it's um, not as strong as the normal durian you get here. Mm -hmm. the, okay. the yellowish and white durians. More mellowed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and but the smell is more um, much more stronger than uh, the normal. But durian. the same ecstasy effect lah <laughs> Yes, yes. And some some people. People say it gives you that alcoholic effect, um, oh. especially when you leave it for um, two or three days after it falls. You know, so it's the it's the king of tuak fruits. <laughs> <laughs> Similar effect, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, moving on to the front, the one that looks like a um, bowl of dates. Yeah. What what is it actually? Is it is it dates or not? This is what we call dabai. Dabai. Uh, so, okay. Yeah. okay. So uh, it's a very popular fruit, and uh, it is um, presented for um, tea, tea, tea breaks and okay. uh, you eat from the, the outside of the skin <laughs> I, to okay. the inside of the seed. It looks how like, do you, it looks like you, dates. Did you just eat it? No, no, like you, you have no? to soak it in hot water for uh -huh. 10 minutes and then the skin uh, you know, sort of opens up, peels out. And then, so uh, it's not really dates, but um, why is it in the same family of... I uh, People will... Uh, Put it in a similar uh, texture as avocado. Avocado, yeah, but um, a lot of people call it um, Sarawak olives because it looks like olives, but the texture is avocado texture. Okay, yeah. so now, once you soak it in hot water or something, like yeah, that, the, the skin, skin softens, and then you can just um, like squeeze out the avocado texture ah. paste from that, ah. and then but the seed is a triangular uh, seed which is very hard, but you can crack it open and then. Right. Um, you can eat the interior the of the inside. seeds. Yeah, the inside, well, yeah. I have to say, I think the the smell of all these fruits have contaminated the smell <laughs> of this one, so, uh, We will have to try this out later. Mm. Now, Dr. Lawrence, mm. just coming back to you. Earlier on, you mentioned um, that these fruits are only available when the kampung folks come out. Yes. Mm. Um, even even in, in its own ho uh, homeland itself, yes, the, yes, the yes. natives don't, or rather the regulars in the city don't get a part of these fruits because it's not 
in the hyper market as well. Yeah, it's not the hyper yeah. market. So. How is <coughs> if for the Kampong folks who come out then? Okay. Um, you know, how well is this being received? As you mentioned, that sm uh, smell is quite strong. Yes. Um, so is it very well received by people there? Uh, I mean, do they? Is this like a delicacy there? Yeah, in fact, the Dabai, as uh, Augustus was mentioning, is uh, now it's the season of Dabai. Ah, okay. You can go up to a kilo of fourteen ringgit. Wow. So it's really they love the fruit. And Dubai yeah. have a lot of research been done uh -huh. in, uh, in Sarawak. Uh, they have a very high antioxidants level. I, I see. see. Uh, so research been done on Dubai, and uh, they are also Dubai paste. Oh, okay. So Dubai paste doesn't just for what, what toothpaste like chili sauce. or oh, like, like chili, chili sauce. sauce. Yeah. They have Dubai oh, wow. paste. Okay. Dubai sauce. Yeah, Dubai sauce. You've tasted Dubai. How does it taste? No, like? no, no. I've tasted Tarap. Oh, you have tasted. Tarap? Yeah, I don't know oh, Dubai. Okay. That's the thing. I know Tarap. Dubai is the uh, olive mm. Okay, yeah. right. So, we'll so generally the, the locals, they love the local fruits. Okay. okay. Uh, so anything at uh, the hypermarkets haven't uh, mm. brought in to sell. Yeah, because we don't even see it here. Yeah, you can't yeah. see it. And one of the another reason maybe is because like this uh, truck, yeah. you can't last very long. I right, see. Yeah. So you can't keep in a hypermarket and it goes off bad. Yeah. Uh, so, but the bambangan can last long. Okay. Ah. There is a high potential. If the camera could zoom in, this looks like a, a couple of uh, coconuts, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah <open laughs> for coconuts. Baby but, coconuts, yeah. yeah but that, that's what it looks like. No, Inside. that's different, right? Yes, yeah, it's the same, same, same one. Okay. You open so it this up. one is the... Okay, yeah. so right. So this looks... If, once you cut it open, it looks like a mutated mango. Yes. <laughs> There you go. Because you cannot actually peel the bamangan, you have to slice out the, the, the sides okay. and then you just... Mm -hmm. uh, Pull out the and the skin. smell is quite strong. It's all it is it's, very, uh, very strong. similar to mango, isn't it? Yes, yes, yeah, it, is, it is. is. From the same mango family. Yes, it's mango family. Oh, yeah, I should get a spoon, sort of dig in. Uh, only mm. thing I think the bambangan there's a high potential for export market. Ah, yeah. Because it can, it can last. You can keep it for at least uh, three, four weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so and also can process as juice. I see. Because yeah. it's a, almost a mango family. Mm -hmm. That's so it. So it's a very high potential <laughs> food for export. What's it called again? Bambangan. Bambangan. Yeah, bambangan. Yeah. One, bambangan see... one bambangan lassi, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hardly there unless you get to Sarawak. <laughs> the only problem is it has so much fiber. Right. So, great, right? yeah, it, it's, it's not like mango when you eat it, you just can swallow everything, right? That's but so right. you have to throw out the, oh, yes. uh, the fibers. Oh, yeah. It's it like eating, the, the eating, yeah, yeah, eating okay. a sugar cane. I see. That's I how see. much fiber it has. Okay. <laughs> now, going on to something that looks like a rambutan or the pulasan, but it's not, and it's and called the tarap. Uh -huh. We just. Uh, Local local ones. Quick, quick note on the tarap. This tarap is, uh, it, it doesn't fall down, so you have to uh, take it from the tree oh, when okay. it's green and then it can ripe, uh, it can ripe up when uh, it's uh, stored in the house. Alright, there we go, doctor's so opening it up. Ooh, the way yes, oh, wow. I remember. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That is delicious, you yeah. have no idea yeah. how delicious that is. How does it taste like? Anything similar that we are accustomed to? It's uh, very milky, as yeah. far as yes, I remember. Yes. Very creamy, milky. milky and then it's very sweet. Yeah. And the skin opens up like an alien skin, you know, just like, yeah. you just do you just it like... Peel it yeah, pull it open yeah. like that. Yeah. So, and uh, this one is quite dry already because uh, okay. it's uh, been. Um, well, we can see a lot of our camera crew production all circling in like vultures. I'm going to attack it later on. Yeah, there you go. Here we go. Good there look go. at the tarap. Yes. Now, this is really tasty. I yeah. my first experience on tarap was years ago when I fell in love with it. Okay. Never got it since. But you save us some. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> there's a lot for everyone. But the, 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 they can only last for one hour plus because right, uh, right now it's already yellowing. Okay. Mm. Because once you open up, you, you, you have, have to quickly consume it. Close it back. Close it back. <laughs> not gonna let it. They're not going to let it. Okay, All right. so we are going to move on to our next topic. Thank you so much and once again, Happy New Year. Happy and thank New you very Year much for you. introducing us to all these unique fruits. This actually makes us an, uh, have another reason to go all the way to Sarawak. I know. Yes. And we glue you guys up. Uh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> definitely. Wait, what, what, Pasa? Pasa Tamu. Pasa Tamu. You can find it from Sarawak. Okay. Doctor, you know where we are heading anyway. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes, yes. yes. We'll, All we'll right, give you a call. So, <laughs> for those of you out there, there you go. Head on down to Sarawak if you want to really experience this very unique fruit. You don't get it here That's at right. all. Neither do you get in the hypermarkets. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, in order for you to go to Sarawak and also buy, purchase some of these uh, really nice delicacies, you have to earn some money. So, of course, when it comes to money, we have our money guru here with us. She works out. <laughs> okay. So, we're from Kyrie in the studio. Yes. Uh, so we're going to be right back after the short break. Don't go away.